So today is Friday the 13th, 2015. Maybe not the best day to travel. But uh, I've been running, put a morning run in in Boulder here. It's been in the 60s, kind of a little warmer for Boulder. And uh, I've been wearing three layers. I've got my jacket on, my hat. So uh, let's go to LA. Is uh, March 14th, 2015, and it's we're in LA finally. Got here. Uh, it's the night before the race, and honestly, starting to get pretty nervous. Um, I always get nervous. I think it's good. It's a good natural process to be and uh, have some nerves going into the race. It helps you get some adrenaline going. But uh, it's definitely pretty warm here. Uh, definitely going to be pretty hot during the race. Probably going to be in the 70s most of the race. And luckily, uh, if I finish at least, uh, it'll probably not be too crazy. But you know, the high is supposed to be close to 90 tomorrow, but we do have an earlier start, so that's going to help. Uh, I've heard some mixed reviews from the course. Some people, uh, other professional fast runners have told me that it's slower and more hilly, and I don't know what to think, but uh, I'm just going to go out there and go for it. And even with the adversity from the heat, it's not ideal for, for running a super fast time, and I know that, but I'm still going to go for it, and I'm going to go for that pace to try to get the trials qualifier because that's what I came here to do, as well as to try to be competitive overall as the U.S. Championship, and uh, there's a lot of international runners here as well, um, so there's a little prize money on the line, and uh, just trying to you know beat as many people as possible and, and run as fast as possible is really the, the name of the game, but I think hydration is going to be really important, um, and running a strategic race is also going to be very important with the pacing, and you have to do... With hills, you have to be able to play that by ear and know how to gauge your effort at the right time going up certain slopes and down certain slopes. So it's, it's definitely going to be something hard um, and something I guess I'm excited to see LA. There's a good, it's a good tour of the city before you head out to the beach. So uh, I am looking forward to that. I got my bib, bib here. Um, uh, number 30, uh, there's an online tracking thing through the LA Marathon website. And if you register for it, you could follow me. Uh, bib number 30. And they hopefully get some updates, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be a sweat bath out there. And uh, I got some butterflies in my stomach. Gonna be a super early wake up call tomorrow morning. Um, but I just wanted to get out this last video the night before here. And uh, thank you again for all the support and all the the shares and likes and uh, everyone following along. The comments have really helped me with my training, and it's it's been really cool to see. And uh, wish you the best of luck if you're running tomorrow as well, and, or if you have any races coming up. And one final note, I guess, is uh, to try to crowdsource this. Uh, if you know someone that's out on the course or you're going to be out on the course watching or spectating, uh, it would be awesome if you guys could film maybe a little clip of, of me going by and you know some of the other elite runners as well. I have a couple of Hoka teammates out there uh, that probably be ahead of me. Um, but yeah, if, if we could film, get some clips anywhere on the course uh, or parts of the race, that would be amazing. And if you're filming with an iPhone uh, like what I have, be sure to hold your phone sideways like that um but yeah if we could get some footage of the race as, as it progresses and goes along i could piece it together later and we could have this amazing collaboration so uh you know trying to crowdsource it out and I'll give you credit uh as well for your film clips so um if, if you know anyone or you're going to be around that would be really really cool um but thanks again for all the support and uh you know it if i hit the time tomorrow it's going to be great if i don't i'm going to just keep trying again because uh, that's what it's all about, is going after your goals and your dreams. So uh, thanks for following along on this journey, and uh, I'll uh, know where I stand exactly at uh, a little after 9, 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, uh, West Coast time, hopefully. So uh, thanks again, and uh, stay tuned for more via 2 Max Productions.